Hi, this is Jeff from Perfect Q Cooking Channel. Today we are making walleye nuggets. Actually, there's a couple of fishes in here. Those are in about a one by one and a half uh, square, we'll say. And the amount in here is about one pound, four ounces. Now the rest of the meat is on place. I've got a cup of flour. I've got uh, one teaspoon of baking powder. I've got quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika, garlic powder, and sea salt. And then to round it off, we've got our one cup of panko. All right, so we're gonna take the one cup of flour, put that in the mixing bowl. Then we've got that half teaspoon uh, baking powder. Then we've got a quarter table teaspoon, sorry, quarter teaspoon of the smoke pack krika as well as the garlic powder. And you wanna whisk this, mix it up. And then once we know it's fully really mixed up, then I'm gonna add that half cup of water. This is making our batter. This is gonna go on the fish and then the fish will get dunked in the panko. So you're gonna see that in our next clip. So here we will uh, go ahead and uh, set the whisk aside just for a minute and put our half cup of water in there. And then whisk this till you have a batter. You don't want any lumps, you want a, a creamy look to it. So, so we've got that one cup of panko and a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Now I do probably, I'm gonna grab a wisp and, and there's something to mix that thoroughly together. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a, we'll call it a dash of Bayou Boogie from Saints and Sinners. That's a Cajun flavoring. So when we dash, what would a dash, what would that be? Maybe eighth, quarter teaspoon? Probably eight. That'll be fine. I don't want too much. I just a subtle. Because if you, once the fish is cooked and cooling off and you take your first bite, if you want a little bit more of that Cajun flavoring, just shake it on there. All right, so I believe we've got that done. So then I'm gonna grab a plate with paper towel on it. This is our assembly line. This we can put away. Again, you'll find that in the description as well as at the end of the video, and you'll also have a discount on the Bayou Boogie. So what we're gonna do is all we're gonna do is just take these, dunk them in the batter, get them nice and coated, let it drip so it, you know you don't have too much on it. Just make, make a good coating and use a dry hand to put the panko on. Now, after you do a few of these, I've learned in a Scotch Eggs video I did and, and other things that the dry and wet hand is a good idea to start with, but it doesn't necessarily stay like that. <laughs> so, we'll do a few of these. I'll do three or four of them and then I'll have uh, my wife pause the video and I'll finish doing these and getting all the rest of them ready to go. So again, you just want to make sure these are coated well. Um, you don't double coat these. All right, so we'll just do one more and then again we'll uh, finish all these off camera and then the next thing will be very simple. All right, so we're preheating the air fryer 350 degrees. These are gonna be in there five minutes per side. Off camera, I did spray these on one side but I'm gonna spray them again with this vegetable oil. You can use olive oil, probably whatever you want. The other part of the one pound, four ounce of this batch is set aside. This is a little over half of that. And even then, this may not all fit in the air fryer basket, depending on your air fryer size. So we are gonna go ahead and spray this, just a light coating of it. This will give it that golden brown look like it, if it were fried in the uh, cast iron pan. All right, so we're gonna spray the air fryer just lightly with some of the vegetable spray that I use. Now we're just gonna line the bottom with our nuggets.
careful not to touch the fryer, otherwise you could use tongs or something, but we're gonna get about half of these in here. Then we'll finish up the other half off camera and then the final take will be uh, showing them to you done. And then of course I gotta take that uh, bite to show you how awesome these are. Alrighty, so I did two patches, 10 minutes a piece. But here's a picture of most of it here. It was in the air fryer. Look at how crispy golden brown they look, even though they weren't fried in oil. So let's take a bite. You want to make sure your fish is white in color. That's pretty good. I'm going to eat a few of these and maybe save a couple, but thanks everyone for watching. Cheers, backyarders. Cheers, YouTubers. Thank you.